Look at it. Look at it. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So in this video, it's my pleasure to show you my finished TCO one and I am really super happy with this. Um, we'll talk about it throughout the video, what I actually wanted and what I actually got. Um, but before we get into that, I'd just like to give Yoro RC a massive thank you for sponsoring today's video. Um, our Tamiya Legends 5% promo discount code will be in this video's description together with a link to the Yoro RC website. So if you uh, are going to be ordering from them, please use that discount to get that uh, saving. So before we bring the camera over and have a really good look at this thing close up, let's just go through the actual sort of build process for the body set because as you can imagine it's extremely involved. So obviously first process is cutting it all out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think there's six parts to this body shell and there's some quite tricky cutting out. It's, it's not a body set for the faint hearted if you're not very good at cutting out. It's going to be quite a mission for you, especially the inner arches. Um, there's a lot of shape to get round and um, it's very, very time consuming. But again, if you take your time, you know, you, you get there. I'm not particularly an expert in cutting out with scissors or the kind of night, the score and snap technique. But um, yeah, that was, a, that was by far the most time consuming part to this. So once I've got it all cut out, do the usual, give it a little bit of a sanding, little bits of trim here and there. But then I had to build it all back up, put the holes in, put all the screws on and just finish it back up. Because to make everything fit, there's a little bit more trimming and sanding and stuff needed. Um, but that's just, just that's just the way how you have to do that body shell, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, once that was, I, I kind of got to see it for the first time together. And then it was first bit of painting, so it was to mask around the canopy. Um, I didn't realise actually, I took a lot of time masking and I didn't really need to because there's decals that cover it. Uh, but I had my lines were really crisp, but uh, that's not a bad thing, is it? And then at the same time, it was my first opportunity to get these wheels out and see what they look, they look like. Massive shout out to Rob, if you're watching, who sent me these Michelin um, tyre decals. Absolutely superb. And obviously once I'd put the... The, the wheels on just onto the chassis with the TRF shocks and stuff. The chassis on its own was looking mint. And then obviously once the um, black had dried, it was just to kind of blasting it all over in PS white. Um, it's taken a, a can and a half, almost two cans to do it. One irritating thing is the wing side is a very slightly different white to the other parts. Um, and that's because I use two different types. I use an old can of PS paint, um, which I just had lying around, I just wanted to use it up, so I thought I'd do that, and I did a couple of little bits, the wing and something else, and then I, I used another brand new can, and uh, I noticed when it was drying, it was a very slightly different white, now it's all together, you don't really notice it, but um, yeah, it did stand out a little bit like a soft thumb. And then obviously onto the decals, and it was just all about the Starburst decals, and seeing if I could make them fit down the sides with the, the large starburst decals. So there's a lot of cut and shove there to make those fit. It's not perfect by any stretch of imagination. But I got on, I got the main two on to a stage where I thought, yeah, I can live with that. And then I concentrated on the two front um, fender mudguard decals. Because I thought, if I can get those four decals on, then the rest of the car will just fall into place. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of work to get them on, but um, it, it's paid off. And then once I'm happy with that, it was just a case of putting all the other decals on. So I wanted to get all these blue lines on that the car comes with because that that blue colour next to the um, white, I just think it looks really cool. Um, so I, I did struggle because I didn't have a lot of black decal sponsorship decals because um, the actual kit decals are all in white. So obviously you can't put white decals on a white car. Um, but I think luckily, once I'd got all the blue on, it, it didn't need very much. I, I put that Tamiya down the side, which I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with. That lower blue line, I've done that. Because obviously with a Starburst, the on the kit, this blue line is supposed to follow all the way. So obviously we didn't use that chunk. So I just put it down there and it, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's drag the camera over and have a look at this. And you guys can let me know what you think. 
Right, and that's pretty much it. I, I kind of do think I'm finished with it. Um, I've kind of finished the back end off now. I did those ABBs right at the back, the red Tamiya here. Um, what else? And obviously this extra blue line that's not supposed to be there. And I've also put the Tamiya um, website address on either side of the wing. And again, that's just that was just to fill it up a little bit because it's it seems seem to have sort of bits missing. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this in camera for you. But um, it's a lovely looking thing. I really, really do like it. It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit special. Again, it's not perfect, especially around this section. Uh, the decal had to do a lot to get it onto that section. I had to cut and shove it around. The blue line decals, they're I do have to go over them with a hairdryer at some point. They're, they're not the best fit. Um, you're asking a decal to do quite a lot on this. Well, you're asking some decals to do a lot on this car. But, um, yeah, again, you just take your time. And for me personally, that's its best angle with the camera way down low. That just looks mean as. And those wheels and the blue wheel nuts just really work. Um, the rear wheels are quite sort of set in on the body that's how it's supposed to be so I've got I, I've packed them out about three mil on either side with just a plastic bush um, you could actually run it like that although the thread is just into the nylon so yeah you probably be, want to be careful if you were going to run it like that and to be honest it hasn't made a, a dramatic effect out it is still behind but again, I'm kind of asking it to do what the, the real car doesn't look like. But um, yeah, leave in the comments what you think, my friends. I think that is absolutely mean as. Love it. Oh, sorry. Should never really do this. Move camera about, but um, yeah. Very, very happy with this one. So I, I am honestly mega happy how it's turned out. Um, the idea when I started this car, when I first got this kit, I wanted to make a Formula E car replica of it as if Tamiya had actually sponsored the actual race car. Um, and I planned to do different things with decals and get, anyway, the whole decal decaling side of what I planned to do didn't work because apparently my scans weren't good enough. So that was frustrating. But um, nevertheless, what I've got I'm, yeah, I'm over the moon with it's um, it's pretty incredible if I'm honest. I really do like it. It's um, it's possibly one of my, if not the best on road car I've ever done. To be honest, um, I, there's a couple of factors in that. I've always wanted to use these Starburst decals. Um, then the added bonus of just the, the complexity of the shell and how it goes together and how good it looks when it's finished. These sexy uh, blue wheels. Yeah, I just think colour-wise everything just works perfectly. So, yeah, awesome. I've got I've got nothing bad to say about the TCO one whatsoever. I've really enjoyed it from, from getting the kit. The build process of the chassis was awesome because it was the most modern chassis I've ever built of Tamiya's. Um, then, obviously, we ran it with the touring car shell and the thing ran so well. Um, and then we stripped it, we put all the upgrades on, so we've got TRS shocks, the shock retainers, the shock extenders, all in alloy, the pivots are on, so it's a real, once it looks fantastic like that, but then when you take the shell off, it's equally as fantastic, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, very chuffed with this, and it's an odd kit, isn't it, because it's a completely unique kit, the whole chassis was made, designed for this shell. You know, you don't often see that. Um, and I think when it first came out, we thought we would be, we would see a, a few, maybe one, two, even three different liveries of this body shell from the Formula E circuit. But there's been nothing. Um, so it's funny that because if, if they don't release it again with a different livery on it, then um, this car becomes very special as the years go on. So, uh, yeah, I think... Um, as a collector, I think it's a really cool piece to have from Tamiya. And uh, especially one that looks like this. Anyway, I'm starting to dribble on. So a massive thank you again to Yoro RC for sponsoring today's video. And again, 
in this video description will be our Eurorc 5% um, promo discount code and a link to their website so please use that my friends <sighs> so thanks so much for watching it's massively appreciated if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that smash that notification bell for our weekly videos and as always my friends look at it happy assing <laughs>